have actually a question related to KPIs, Sherrod. Um, so we have our accounting done on QuickBooks. Okay. And I am trying to actually get all these sections connected and integrated. Um, okay. So like, you know, the revenue information under marketing, like the expenses, all that. Right. So what is the best way to do it? Um, I don't think me like connecting my credit cards and my bank accounts and then manually every time there's an expense updating it. I, it's just not realistic that I'm going to do that because right. um, I have a bookkeeper and that's her job and she's not going to do it off right. simply. She's going to do it off, you know, QuickBooks. So then the other option I heard was that you just could maybe put in uh, manual entries. Right. Uh, so maybe on a monthly, like what is some of your users that maybe like say manage teams? What is like their process? Somebody like me who already has a bookkeeper. I already do all my books on QuickBooks. I'm not, I can't transfer it over now, but maybe like, what are some other things that people are doing? Are they doing it manually? Is it like a month, once a month, they just put the top line items like texting expenses and they just put like right. the top line on the PL, PL number. Yeah, I, would, I mean, you can link up your bank account. You don't have to input every single transaction uh, that you have. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you will see like this by, you know, next month or I would say like by end of the quarter, we are going to start releasing some pretty cool data. So you might where it's only going to be available for people that actually have their bank account linked. It's mm -hmm. not going to be available for anybody that just don't have the bank. It's going to be really, really deep insight on their business. Uh, but it, again, it'll only be available if you have your bank account link. At least on a minimum basis, what I would do is I would link up the bank account and you don't have to input every single transaction. Mm -hmm. But you can just input the ones that are most relevant for you. So the ones that I would say is the marketing expenses and the revenue number. Everything else, you know, that's going to be a majority of them. Uh, but every, I mean, at majority in the sense of, um, you know, your marketing expenses. For the most people, it's going to be the biggest expense on your PL, maybe uh -huh. other than payroll. Um, so I would at least link up the bank account and then just do those transactions however okay. many you have because down the road if you do need to input other data then you don't have to you know re-input everything from the beginning so you have that data uh, again i mean just the way we're building it out and like we're gonna you know i have it in my account i'm gonna be testing it today like we're rolling out a balance sheet um so i mean again it's gonna be very very in-depth on like you know what percentage of your total assets are sitting in bank what percentage of your total assets are let's say fixed and flip properties same thing on the liabilities and on like the owner equity and stuff um so that's where you might get value you don't have to update everything i mean if you just want to do uh, manual then you can just go right here add account click on manual bank account and then you can set up a manual bank account this is what it's going to look like mm -hmm. uh, and then you can just enter those transactions that are, let's say, for texting or list pulling or, you know, if you're doing direct mail or specific yeah. marketing. And then when you book a revenue on that property, then you just book the revenue numbers. This with all your KPIs are going to be updated um, for you. And yeah. then you can do it like once a week, once a month, however often you feel comfortable with. I think, I mean, my concern about linking up my bank account is that it's like, I've not done this the whole year. So I'm going to have to like go back and like go through. Oh, no, you don't, you don't have to go back. Like when you link up your bank account, so let's say if you link up your bank account today, by default, it's only going to pull your data from July 1st. So it'll only do for oh. that calendar month. Okay. Once you do that, then what we notice a lot of people do is, let's say if they do it just for that month, then they're like, okay, this is, you know, this is easy. Then they will add old data for, you know, previous month and uh, then they will update that. So you don't, you don't have to pull data for all the months. So let's say if you linked up your bank account and then when you go into like this, then you can choose, all right, I want to only pull data for, let's say, you know, June now. So it'll only pull data for the month of June. And then okay. once you've inputted all that data, then you can say, all right, May, then April, so on and so forth. Oh, okay. Kind of fresh start. Okay. So I can just start exactly. now. And exactly. then what about though, like it's not just bank accounts. Like I pay, um, a lot of my marketing is taken out of a credit card. Yep. Yeah. You can link. So this goes through integration, goes through Plaid. 
uh, sorry, this is a test account, so it might not work. But the integration goes through Plaid, uh, which essentially, you know, since we switched over to Plaid like three or four months ago, we rarely had any, pretty say their bank account doesn't like. So you can link up with any bank account, any practically any checking account. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you so I do like say I run my business off of two credit cards and one yep. bank account, and then I can link up the bank account and then um, and the credit cards. What if there's something like, for example, I actually had to cancel a credit card because I lost it. Right. And so now it has like a new, it's probably going to have a new account number and all that. Yeah, um, so it would, it would automatically update. So like if it's a credit card, it would automatically recognize as a credit card, for example. Yeah. Okay. And if it's a checking account, saving account, it would, the system would recognize whether it's a checking account, savings account or credit card. So let's uh -huh. say if you lost this credit card, you had to get a new one then yeah. it would like the transaction would stop coming on this one. It would pull up as a different account number. So yeah. it, would, it, it still might be Spark Cash Plus, but it might be 6733, for example. So okay. you would see another entry in your system, Spark Cash Plus account number 6733. Mm, okay. So then yeah. when you're pulling the KPIs in the KPI page, you know, and it says like expenses, so say I just did it, like if I just did July, then right. that number would just show for just July as July expenses exactly. in, in matchup. Okay, so that's what, exactly. so people typically like me, they just kind of start at July one and and then yes. you can go backwards as you kind of exactly. get used to it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And then, then you can start kind of looking at your KPIs month over month, but you know, you might be like, all right, you know, I'm going to just, uh, you know, draw a line at July 1st. I'm going to start from July 1st. And most of your transactions, let's say if you're paying, you know, like direct mail to the same vendor, if you're paying, you know, for texting to the same vendor. So what's going to happen is like the transaction memo is going to be the same. So you don't have to go back and input that entry every time. So what's going to happen is based on this, it's going to recognize, it's going to say, all right, based on this transaction memo, we think you paid this to Amazon for general property leasing fee. So you can just select these two and say confirm. So you don't okay. have to like go in and manually update every single transaction. Oh, cool. But yeah, I would start out and then we have some uh, information on like help.pcp.com on kind of how to input the, at a minimum, your marketing and revenue number. So you can start tracking that. Uh, but, you know, again, we have a pretty big rollout coming with KPIs this quarter where, the, you know, it, it's going to give you really, really deep insight on your business and kind of exactly what it is that's working and where some inefficiencies are in your business but it's only going to be available if you have a bank account link or most yeah. of it like there'll be some other data that you can access without linking your bank account yeah.